Hello there. That arch-EU federalist Guy Verhofstadt has taken a political swipe at the German Chancellor Angela Merkel over her weak stance on China. Firstly, please subscribe and like this video to give my channel a boost. And I'm always uploading new content, so please do check back daily. In response to an article in Deutsche Welle, DW, Germany's international broadcaster, regarding Germany's reluctance to tackle China head-on for its human rights abuses, the Belgian MEP Guy Verhofstadt published a tweet openly criticising Germany and Angela Merkel. In his tweet he said, As long as selling cars to China is more important to Europe, especially to Germany, than taking a firm stance on the Chinese crackdown on human rights in Hong Kong, Tibet and Xinjiang, we will never be able to put in place a more robust EU-China policy. Which seems to be right on target given the contents of the article. The broadcaster said that pressure was growing on Germany to step up to the mark over Chinese human rights abuses, but said that For a long time, business interests have stood in the way, but a united European stance is increasingly imperative. And it went on to lay out the problem. Much of Germany's hesitation stems from its desire to maintain harmonious relations, built largely on economic ties, with trade volume between Germany and China hitting 206 billion euros in 2019, China is easily Germany's biggest trade partner. At the same time, the European Union as a whole is China's second largest trade partner after the United States. Right now, Germany has the six-month rotating presidency of the European Union, so it is incumbent upon them to take some sort of lead here. Otherwise, all that Merkel will prove is that profits do actually come well before human rights. And one tweet put out in reply to Verhofstadt's tweet by Karl Bass, Chief Investment Officer at Heyman Capital Management, said... After doing an extensive investigation into companies doing business with US sanctioned entities globally, Germany's companies ranked number one. The quiet diesel engines on all Chinese attack submarines are made in Germany. We shouldn't expect Germany to fight the Chinese Communist Party. But many Twitterers were also happy to point out that the EU also has its own human rights shame when looking at the plight of Catalonians at the hands of Spain, and I would add in the French response to the Yellow Vest protesters in Paris. But at the end of the day, both the pandemic and Brexit will hit German manufacturing and export potential hard, so the German government will be in no mood to jeopardise their economy and has so far sidestepped actual downright condemnation of Beijing. Now, for his part, Guy Verhofstadt is well known for his total and unwavering support for the creation of a fully-fledged EU superstate, all with one currency, one central bank, one treasury, one banking system and one set of defence forces. I think he would like nothing more than to be part of an entity that would put the US, Chinese and Russian governments in their places. But I would surmise that this episode will go to show that the best he can really hope for is a ragtag response from the EU with a powerful Germany firmly looking after its own economic interests. And that interest is to keep making stuff and ensure there is a market for it to make a profit in whatever it takes. For how much longer can this EU entity and EU currency keep rumbling along? And knowing China's propensity for ripping off, how long before we start seeing cars being produced in China that look just like German cars? And they would also come equipped with a BMW logo too. Beijing Motor Works. Anyway, if you want to hear more from me, please don't forget to subscribe and also press that little bell, or you won't get any notifications. And if you want to see more of me, buy a mug with my mug on it. 
Anyway, what do you think about this? Please share and comment and thank you for watching. Please do like and share this video and also subscribe to my channel. And when subscribing, please do remember to press on the little bell next to the subscribe button. That way you'll get an alert every single time I put up a new video. And thank you very much for watching.